I'm happy that UNESCO has convened this important gathering of ministries of education and other key global stakeholders to articulate our shared vision of education in the current and post COVID-19 world. We want to keep the hopes and dreams of refugee and displaced children and youth around the world alive. We want them to find a pathway to education, to reach their potential, to fulfill their promise. And we want to realize a sustainable recovery and future. We know there were already millions of children who were out of school even before the pandemic, including at least 3.7 million refugees. That's why Canada has provided new funding for education responding to the COVID-19 crisis in developing countries, including the education of refugees. We have scaled up a number of the projects Canada was already funding under our Charlevoix commitment, particularly in support of girls' education in fragile and conflict-affected situations. But the most important thing we can do is listen to the voices of those who are affected. Our efforts must put children, and especially the most vulnerable, at the heart of our plans. Canada will soon launch an international campaign to ensure that refugee and displaced children get the education they need and deserve. Together, we can come back more inclusive, more equitable, and more resilient over the long term.